From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Kansas City. And from his own end zone, Alante Taylor will return it. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Again, it's Kamara. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this will wind up a Saints first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. On first and ten, here's Carr. And this is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Cut through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second down, Kamara. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 39. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue. Here's Carr. Looking left side, and he's got him in. That's Perry. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. First down, Saints. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Now Carr. And that is incomplete. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way down the field, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Out now 
scores the field goal unit for New Orleans. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. Well, given where they started that opening drive, CD, I think to get three out of it, probably a pretty good start that they'll take. I think you're exactly right about that because they just shook off the effects of the kickoff in field position and took the ball and moved it downfield. Didn't pay off with a touchdown, but that drive, that was really nice for them, and they did come away with three points. Out of the end zone comes McKinnon. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Kadarius Tony. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 77 yards. And the Chiefs have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening by field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, it's Taylor from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get to. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leo Chanel. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down the 16 yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception and then to win a good return tackle. to the INT. Here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football and he's taken down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it second down and 12. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. This is caught. And well, the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now Patrick going to change the play. First and goal at the two-yard line. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. A two-yard touchdown grab. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Butker on for the PAT. And 
this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A first down carry now for Miller. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Here's Carr to throw. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Now Carr. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Perry. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Throwing now is Carr. Flushed out right. And he's got it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And they ran just a little underneath route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. They've been denying touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped on the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Forced out to his left. a touchdown but multiple flags down so let's sort this out now, quick throw there is incomplete 
In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Mahomes going to throw. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rarefied error. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. 17-3 the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. Jarek McKinnon now to return. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. He'll start the drive right around the 37. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check. Well, the defense loses it. It's complete. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point by Butker. He's on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Taylor now from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Perry. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Now Carr. Got a man complete to Miller. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's got it. Touchdown. 
touchdown, Saints. A.T. Perry from 13 yards out. And the Saints are able to cut into that deficit. Carr will look to throw. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. and the Saints kick team booms it away. Out of the end zone comes McKinnon. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, the name of the game last time, efficiency. Their very first snap, they connected for a quick touchdown. They get more value than just the points from that series as well. Only needing one play, it keeps the entire offense rested up. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. And this was a little bit of the knock on him coming out of college. Sometimes the concentration could wander a bit. This should have been a big play, but somehow he's not able to corral it. Carr again here on second and 10. Here's Johnson with a reception. Touchdown, New Orleans. Juwan Johnson, 34 yards. And the Saints take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. And of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud. You did. Yeah, my bad. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get... All right, rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now the offense, they had really not been able to mount anything yet on that drive, and the defense made sure they couldn't mount anything. The interception and the return adding six to the scoreboard. And that's no small return for a linebacker partner. He took matters into his own hands and his legs on that pick. And once he had it, I don't think anyone on the field could have stopped him. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Taken at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Get him right back in the saddle and say, go ahead and sling it, big guy. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he's taken down here by the Saints. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now Mahomes. This ball deep for Tony, and that's going to be incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. 
But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. He's going to go up top again. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Card out of throw. Touchdown, Saints! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Saints have moved out in front. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone comes McKinnon. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. They begin with a run by Miller. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close.
You are watching the NFL. Car to throw on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Down to five line when you set the screen. You don't want to throw it too late and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely want to throw it too late. And that way it's not going perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. Throwing his car on third down. Steps away to his left. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Give him nine on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. They'll run. It's Miller. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Again, it's Miller. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Thirty-eight yard line, second and nine. Now Carr. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by LeJarrius Sneed. Down the left sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match up our position pick six from earlier in this game? Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. On the return, it's Taylor from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A shotgun handoff now to Miller. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. They'll come up now, second and nine. They'll run it again with Miller. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. 
Here's first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Car to throw. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation. You've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense is very happy with what you're doing. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Throwing his car. And that is incomplete. Oh boy, this sets up for a huge call now. Fourth down because you can try to walk field goal. You could go for it. Or you could punt and play for overtime. I am so glad, partner, that I don't have to make those kind of decisions. Let's see what they decide. Car to throw for it on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. A good move. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First and goal, New Orleans. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And it is good. He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And Bourbon...